Hello students, my name is Shah Nawaz Ahmed and I am your tutor of Paper Advanced Taxation ATX for the December 2020 examination and it will be based on FA19 UK variant. So before starting this uh, introductory session, let me tell you the agenda of uh, this uh, particular lecture is in this uh, particular lecture, we'll be discussing about uh, uh, the syllabus of advanced taxation, how it relates with the previous taxation examination in the fundamental level of ACCA, what is the connectivity, what is the uh, passing uh, ratio of this particular paper, what is the examiner's expectation from the students, what are the mistakes committed by the student in the past exams, and few tips and suggestions by the examination team that will help you to uh, evaluate that uh, what needs to be studied in order to pass this paper and what would be the right approach of passing this paper. We are providing uh, the recorded lectures with online support for December 2020 exams. So let's begin with uh, uh, the brief tutor profile first. So I am Shah Nawaz Ahmed and uh, my qualification is I'm an ACCA affiliate. I have completed my ACCA in 2006. Since then I'm in teaching profession, teaching ACCA and other professional qualifications. I've also completed my master's in economics and finance in the same year. And I've also completed advanced diploma in management accounting uh, through exemption. And I'm also a SEMA finalist. I'm teaching most of the professional qualification for the last 14 years, and that will include ACCA, SEMA, ICAW, ICMAP, and other professional qualifications. Currently, I am part of uh, the Faculty of Online Lecturers Academy, also the Faculty of uh, PAC. Similarly, I'm also working with the one of the Platinum Status College in Karachi, that is Tabani School of Accountancy, also a Gold Status College in Karachi, that is Alham Academy. I'm also running one of my virtual institute of ACC and SEMA, which is named at, as Stack College. Following are the areas of expertise that I have uh, obtained during the my lecture, uh, the career of uh, uh, during my career. I have uh, a good grip on taxation, advanced taxation of ACCA, financial reporting, the strategic business reporting and corporate reporting, as well as financial management and advanced financial management. And I'm teaching these subjects for the last 14 years both physically in physical classes as well as online lectures. As uh, you people are uh, connecting with me in the advanced taxation, so let's uh, talk about the advanced taxation syllabus and the relationship with the other paper. As you can see that uh, this is a relational diagram of the main capabilities required in this exam. You can see that there are five areas mentioned in your syllabus. And that is the area A, that is understanding of the tax system through the study of more advanced topics with the studies topic studied previously, and the study of STEM taxes. Now, this particular paper requires you to have uh, the previous knowledge of taxation from the paper F6 or TX and the additional advanced taxation topic that you will study in advanced taxation. Plus an additional area that is called the stem taxes, which include stem duty of land as well as stem duty of shares. Now, another area that is required is pertaining to 
impact of relevant taxes on various situations and course of action, including the interaction of taxes. So you have to apply in different situation, the relevant tax treatment, and you have to inform your client about the interaction of taxes. Similarly, one of the important area is tax planning. So you have to consult with your client. You have to advise your client about how to minimize tax liabilities genuinely, ethically. And or deferring tax liability means what are the sources, what are the course of actions available through which you can defer one of your tax liability uh, in future. Similarly, you have to communicate with your client regarding advices, consultation, as well as you have to communicate with the tax authority that is HM Revenue and Custom and other professionals in an appropriate or ethical manner. So that means your syllabus requires you the previous knowledge of F6, the additional topics that is that will be covered in advanced taxation about the tax planning issues, about the interaction of different components of the syllabus, as well as how efficiently or ethically you can deal with your client HM Revenue and Custom and other professional bodies. Remember that in advanced taxation syllabus, one of the element is included and that is the overseas aspects of taxation. In all the areas that we are going to cover, there are overseas aspects. For example, the overseas aspects of income tax, capital gain tax, corporation tax, inheritance tax and the value added tax. Now this is the connectivity between the previous examination that is the taxation which was previously known as F6 and the advanced taxation which was previously known as P6. When you studied F6 there were few topics in F6 namely you have studied the income tax computation, income tax issues, the corporation tax issues, inheritance tax, value added tax, and the chargeable gain tax. These were the topics that we have covered previously in F6 exam. Now in advanced taxation paper, all the syllabus of F6 is included with some advanced topics with some new topics that we have to study in terms of income tax in terms of corporation in terms of iht in terms of vat in terms of cgt and a special focus will be on the overseas aspect of all these tax issues so that means you have to recall your taxation knowledge Plus, you have to study the advanced taxation specific topic. Now, there is a problem that when a student attempt F6 or tax exam and in between the ATX and TX, there is a huge amount of gap. So when a student came to us, the student says that usually that he or she doesn't have any idea about the taxation paper. So what we can do, we'll provide you all the basics of taxation with the advanced taxation topic. Our lectures will be designed in such a way that it will cover the entire tax labors from the scratch. Like we'll tell uh, you that how to compute income tax liability from the scratch. So don't need to worry about the previous knowledge that will be covered with the advanced taxation syllabus specific topics. But the overall syllabus will be surrounding these five important areas that is income tax, corporation, inheritance, VAT and chargeable gain tax with some new stuff. Now let's talk about the paper structure. Now the, the uh, new uh, criteria of ACC examination is that in most of the countries now there are two types of paper approaches. One is the paper-based exam 
which are prevailing in few countries and most of the countries are now offering the computer based exams cbe so it might be possible that you are located in a country where still there is a paper based exam in december 2020 and it might be possible that you have to attempt a computer based exam in december 2020 whatever will be the mode of the exam the paper structure will remain the same your paper comprises of two sections namely there is a section a and that section a includes two compulsory case study question remember the case study question what it means it means that you have you will be provided a detailed scenario and examiner will ask question about the scenario and you have to extract information from the scenario and you have to apply your text knowledge to the scenario and that that, that is not an easy task to play with the with lots of information now as far as section b is concerned the question there are two compulsory question in section b as far as section b is concerned in section b the question is comparatively uh, much lighter in terms of length of information and it it is always easy to tackle the section b type of questions as compared to section a types of question now when i talk about section a the list of the two question in section a the question number 1 comprises of 35 marks and this 35 marks will include it four professional marks now it's very important to understand that how you can get the professional marks because if you are not able to get any single professional marks then the score is 31 and you have to score out of 31 and professional marks requires that whatever will be the method of communication what will be the calculation style of presentation each and everything will be uh, perfect so that you can get four professional marks we will discuss this in our lectures in our practice session that how you can get four professional marks in section a but remember that as 35 marks are available so the information will be in abundance and you have to deal with this inf these information carefully in order to get the maximum marks anything can be asked by the examiner in question number 1 from the entire syllabus but generally the focus of the question will be based on the individual aspect of income tax question 2 comprises of 25 marks again a scenario based question but in terms of information much lighter than question number 1 and it might cover the corporation tax aspects so these two question will be worth 60 marks and in order to pass the examination you have to attempt the section a in a efficient way so that you can get maximum marks out of section a now section b comprises of two questions worth 20 marks each and that both those two two question will cover the personal tax issues as well as the business aspects of taxation usually one of the question will be based on income tax and other question is based on corporation tax with mixed elements of vat cgt and iht now whether you are appearing in paper based exam or computer based exam the format of the exam will remain the same the difference is that when you attempt a cbe exam you will be provided with the response sheet in terms of a word document and an excel sheet you have to use the word document either the word document or the excel sheet or both 
it depends whether you have to calculate something, whether you have to, have to discuss something. So you have to decide by yourself that which uh, response sheet, sheet is appropriate and which response sheet is convenient for you as far as the presentation is concerned. Remember that the advanced taxation, taxation paper is not entirely computational. The paper will comprises of both calculation and narrative work. And most of the question will be based on theory, the explanation, the advices, the text planning advices. The question will be scenario based as I told you in section A and may involve consideration of more than one tax issues, some elements of planning and the interaction of taxes. There is, this is a three hour and 15 minutes exam. 15 minutes will be provided you for reading purpose and there will be three hours to complete this exam. Now let me share my personal experience that students usually not able to complete this paper in three hours because the paper is very lengthy, the syllabus is huge. So you have to learn with your tutor that how you can attempt a given question within the allocated time. Say suppose if a 20 mark question is given and you have uh, say suppose 36 minutes. So you have to practice in such a way that you can complete the question in the given time. Remember that if you're not able to complete your paper, say suppose a student has attempted these 70 marks out of 100 marks. Now there are least chances to pass this paper as compared to that student who have completed the 100 person paper. So, so you have to just keep in touch with the with your tutor and learn the art, learn the technique, how to attempt the entire paper. The tax rates, allowances and information on certain reliefs will be given to you in the exam. The tax rule and all this will be available in both paper based exam as well as the computer based exam. As the syllabus is quite lengthy and the text rules are very extensive. The student finds it difficult to memorize those rules. The thing is that you have to continue, continuously practice the text rules. You have to learn, memorize the rules. You have to continuously revise the rules so that at the time of the examination, you can recall what you have learned and you can apply in the given scenario. These are the pass rates of few, few previous examination. And you can see that in March 2020, the latest examination result that we have, uh, there is 44% passing marks. And from the professional examination point of view, this is extremely good result. But you can see in the previous diet, the result was 35%. And in September 19, it was 36. And in June 19, again, it was a very good exam. And then in March 2019, it was a poor one, that is 33%. Normally, the professional level exams results usually lie between 30 to 35%. But 44% and 43% says that if you work well with the material, with the resources, with the lectures, you can easily pass this exams. But the hurdle is that you need to revise the taxation and specific advanced taxation topic. So plan your study schedule in such a way that you have enough time to cover the entire syllabus. It is always important to read the examiner reports and identify the mistakes done by the previous students. Because if you are smart enough and if you do not commit that type of mistake, your passing chances will be high. So let's discuss what examiner report says. The examiner report is saying that the student did not 
answer the requirement as set that means student did not correctly identify what is the requirement because there, there might be three four or five requirement in section a there might be three to four requirement in section b there might be more than one requirement in a single part question so you have to correctly identify what have been asked the second problem is they did not relate their answer adequately to the information provided in the question for example if someone is asking about the disposal of an overseas property so you have to stick with the information given in the question and relates the text rules accordingly generic answers not related with the requirement what is the requirement is different anything has been asked you just know the rules write it down everything this is not required you have to be specific they did not spend sufficient time thinking before they started writing that is an unstructured answer it is always important to spend few minutes planning your answer for example if you're planning to attempt question number three read the question think about what is the requirement plan your answer and then start writing it is not like that just read the question and start writing in that way your answer will be unstructured and remember that in section a question number one there are professional marks and that professional marks requires that your answer will be structured they don't have they did not have sufficient precise knowledge of the text rule within the syllabus if you don't know any particular text aspect you, you will not able to get any marks because the marks are allocated against the rules for example if examiner has asked a question about the inheritance tax then you must have the knowledge about inheritance tax in order to get marks and the last is time management was very poor and this is one of the problem with the students that uh, they are not able to manage time and why it is the case why all the students face this kind of difficulty the simple reason is that they are not habitual of practicing before exam under the time bounded condition so you have to practice the examination question uh, as per the time requirement and you have to attempt the mock exam before appearing in the real exam that will help you to discuss your issues with your tutor now these are the suggestions if you work out these issues then you are able to uh, get good marks good level of accurate knowledge of the uk tax system obviously we are studying uk tax system so we have to understand the uh, taxation issues and advanced taxation issues in detail so that we can apply it correctly throughout our uh, session we'll be dealing with all these tax issues our recorded lectures are enough to cover all these taxation issues plus we'll provide you the powerpoint slides the notes in terms of powerpoint slides in order to review the uk tax system rules knowledge brought forward from the tx syllabus is very important don't bother about it we'll cover each and every thing of the tx syllabus practice question from past paper very important and our recorded lectures will cover the past paper practice as well and we'll at the uh, end of the session or near the exam will also provide a student uh, a practice to past session complimentary so that student will work with the tutor and understand that how to attempt a question how to read the question how to identify the requirement and how to attempt in the given situation read the requirement carefully very important pay attention to the available marks if marks are free you can understand how much you have to write think before you write very important planning apply your knowledge to the fact by reference to the requirement do not write journal answer the answer must be specific 
if you are just asked to calculate there is no need to explain i already told you that there is calculation plus theoretical issues sometimes is the examiner specifically asked that calculate the chargeable gain tax and a student try to write something about the theory as well don't need to do that and sometimes is the examiner specifically says that calculation is not needed now there is no need to work out any single calculations so guys this is the introduction of advanced taxation exam before moving to the recorded lecture and before moving to the our, our first topic uh, it is always better to understand what is your syllabus what is the expectation of examiner and then you can connect with a tutor use the lectures of the tutor the resources available with the tutor and the the most important thing is practice and this paper is easy to pass once you learn the tax rules and practice the past examination question so that was uh, uh, all the stuff that i have to discuss with you guys hope you can understand this uh, information uh, and i i wish you best of luck with the advanced taxation syllabus uh, with online lecturers academy